Hello fellow scratchers, in this episode I am going to show you how to create a two player shooter game. So let's get started. So first of all, go and create a new project and call it the two player shooter game. So, so over here I have these two sprites called the start sprite and the map. So in the start sprite I literally have this costume with a button and this the button clicks. First, I'll name it Start 1, Start 2 when you're clicking down, Button Down, and the Button Up. That's it. And in the map, I have these customs. Room 1, I have this Room 1 sprite, Room 2, Room 3, and Room 4 sprite. And also have this empty blank custom, which I've not named any. So let's get coding. So the first thing first I want to code is the Start sprite. Okay, so I want to code it to show and cr I want to code the player 1 health and the player 2 health as well. But firstly, I want to code that whenever I click this button, then it will start and I'll broadcast play and the mapping will show up. So the first thing I want to do here is when green flag click, when green flag click, I want to go to this position, 0, negative 40, and you can show it. So you can also go to the looks and click on give a block named show. And then what I want to go to do is add a forever loop and make it go to the most front layer. There we go. Now check if we want to place an if else block to check. If it's mouse down and it's touching the mouse point, as in the mouse is clicking it. So if it is click, so if it's mouse down and the mouse pointer, as in our mouse has clicked on it, we want to switch it to the button down, which is the button down sprite. Next, wait. Add a wait until block and wait until mouse is not down. As in, we have already clicked it and we'll leave, leave our mouse up. Then switch costume to bottom up. And now we want it to hide and broadcast play. Also add a stop all at the end. Okay. First, we want it to switch the costume back to button up. Now let's try. So once you click on the button, it will show going the button down, and the button disappears. Now this is a good animation. Okay. Nextly, we want to code the map. In this map, I want it to show a start menu screen to show and let the players to play click on which mapping they want to use okay so now go to the maps right here and then we want to click at this when i receive play go forward by about five layers there we go then we'll switch custom to the empty custom that we've created So once you switch the costume, um, we want to create this clone, this new variable called clone ID, and set clone ID to room one. Okay. So once you've done this, create a clone of myself. Okay. Then duplicate this again. And again, until you have four of the set variable. Now change the rooms to room one, to room two, then to room three. And finally, we have room four. Okay. And then add a when green flag click. We want this thing to hide so it doesn't appear. And we want to create a new variable called level. And now set level to zero. There we go. So now we're going to create 
the cloning. So now, when I start as a clone at this code, when I start as a clone, we want the it to show if it is room one. So if the clone ID is room one. Okay, then we want to switch the costume. So we'll come here and switch costume to room 1. And now go to about this position, which I presume is somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. After that, we want it to show since it's being hidden. And now Add this repeat until black, and repeat until level is not zero. Then we want to add an if else block to check if the mouse is touching. So if it is touching mouse pointer, we want it to do an animation, like to how to change the size a bit brighter. And smoother. So at change the size by a, by 120 minus size. So 120 minus the size block. And we want it to be divided by 10. Once we've changed the size, we want to change the size back to 100. So let's see. Now I can see this over here. Now you can see that whatever a mouse is touching it, it will become bigger and then now become smaller again. Now, we want to check if we are clicking it. So add an if statement and check if it is touching mouse down and touching mouse pointer and if and also to check you also have to check if the costume is room 1. Now this is just for a little security. If you don't want to add this, then you also be fine. So if it is room 1, we want it to broadcast room 1. So go to the events, broadcast and new message and put room one. There we go. Once we broadcast it, we want it to delete this clone. Okay. Now make four more copies of this. You can right click click on duplicate. Okay. And now we want another one to be on this side. So the position for this should be about 120. Okay. And change the clone ID to room 2. And the room 1 to room 2. And now broadcast a new message called room 2. There we go. And then create another one. Create another one, or you can duplicate it two more times. Okay, and now one of them change it to room three. Switch costume to room three. And also, if costume name is room 3 and create a broadcast room 3 and the next one 
clone ID select room 4, switch casting room 4, rename the casting name to room 4, and we want to broadcast room 4. There we go. And now these four perfectly right here in the little square place. There we go. Now once you've done this, come here and add this. When I receive, when I receive room one, okay, we want it to check. We want it to set the level to one. And then broadcast starts again. Broadcast new message and name it start. There we go. And once we've done this, we want it to hide. Okay. Now create four more, three more of these. Okay. Name it room two, room three, and room four. And change each of the levels to two, three, and four. There we go. Now if you come here and go to the variables and show the level sprite. You okay, after checking for a bit, I realized that the coordinates for over here is wrong. So now it should work. So let's say if I click start and I click this, it will show level 1. Click the second one, level 2. Click the third one, level 3, and if I click the fourth one, it will show that's level 4. So now you can see this is what's so up. That's it for today's video. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to create the level designs and even the player's movement. And I hope to see you again in the next episode. Thanks guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!